What's up everybody? Steven here from the Trading Channel. And can you guess what we're going to be talking about today? That's right, the Gartley pattern. As you can see on the screen in front of you, we had a Gartley pattern fill this morning and also hit targets earlier today. I'll bring in a Fibonacci retracement. For those of you that have seen my other advanced pattern videos, you know that I take targets at a 382 retracement. And earlier this morning, we came up to our entry here and suffered very little pain. This one little candle wick came up to retest structure but never did break above our X leg here. So if I bring my ruler tool over you can see that we hit our entry and then immediately turned over within a 15 minute candle banking in around 34 pips. And in today's video I'm going to be showing you the rules and ratios that I use to trade this Gartley pattern in the markets every day. And by the end of this video, you should know whether or not you like the Gartley pattern and whether or not it's something you'd be interested in backtesting and putting into your trading plan. Feel free to change the ratios, targets, and stops for these advanced patterns. Just make sure that you backtest them correctly with the customized ratios, stops, and targets to see how profitable your Gartley pattern will be. Later on today, I'll be recording a video recapping my last two weeks in the market. And if that's something you're interested in, don't forget to subscribe while the intro and disclaimer roll. Click that like button, and I'll be back soon. All right, so we'll scroll up on the chart here and get a blank canvas so that we can start to draw one of these Gartley patterns out. A Gartley pattern, just like every other advanced pattern, is going to start with an impulse leg. The way we label this impulse leg is X is the starting point. X comes up to A. Market begins to reverse. This first pullback from X to A we take a Fibonacci retracement from down here at X up to our A point and this first pullback has to come down and touch the 618 retracement but cannot touch the 786 retracement so we have an area here between the 618 and 786 that the market can terminate in And let me zoom in a little more maybe make this easier to see for you guys there we go, that's got to be better. Alright, so as I said, we have an area between 618 and 786 that the market can terminate. The next thing we look for, after labeling this as our B leg of the move there, the next thing we look for is a retracement from A down to B of that same 618 retracement. Now when I pulled that, I just pulled it from this A leg here down to B. And with that, we look for a 618 retracement here. It has to at least touch the 618 and it cannot go above our previous A leg. So we actually have a pretty wide zone that this C point can terminate in and that zone looks a little something like this. So this zone here would be the termination point for our C of the advanced pattern. And the next thing we look for is D. And there are a few different ways to look for D, but since I'm showing you how I trade the Gartley pattern, I will explain to you the way that I do this. The way I do this is with a Fibonacci retracement from X to A, you look for a 786. And this is the case for me whenever the 786 is closely aligned with a 127 extension. In this point, this is not considered closely aligned. Since this is not considered closely aligned, meaning the 786 retracement here, is not very close to the 127 extension here, I would use the 127 extension as my D point. 
But let me give you an example of it the other way if the 786 is aligned with the 127 extension. For that, I'll have to bring my B leg up to 618 or very close to it. And you'll notice that the more you test these patterns, the closer to 618 your first X to A retracement comes in, the closer to 618 your B leg of the move is, the closer the 127 will align with the 786 retracement. So then you take your Fibonacci extension from A down to B and back up to A. And as you can see here, we have a pretty close alignment of 127 and 786. With that being the case, I put my entry at 786. Now as I said before, I only put it at 786 when these two are very close, within a few pips of one another. If these two are far away, and I'll give you an example of that, bring this B leg down a little further. So if those two are far away, we've already got our 786. Sorry about that guys, phone's going crazy. If these two are far away, A down to B, back up to A with our extension. This is far away. The 127 is actually coming in all the way down at the 886. In that case, I would just move my entry all the way down to the 127 extension. And that would be my D leg. And the reason I do this, guys, is because on this D leg, the closer we can get to X, the better our risk reward is going to be. From our 786 retracement, our risk reward would probably look something like this and we'd be lucky to get about a one-to-one -one risk reward on this trade similar to a cipher pattern but if we wait and enter the market down here at the 127 as we know our targets are still going to be a 382 retracement up here but our stop loss is then going to be much smaller giving us a much better risk to reward and that's the reason I trade the Gartley pattern this way. And I'll go ahead and draw this in for you using our pattern tool so you can see exactly what you need to be looking for in the markets. C to D, just like that. Now I'll go in the market and see if I can find a few of these to use as examples on a live trading chart. And also I'll be showing you a video clip of a live Gartley pattern that we traded to make a little bit of profit. All right, guys, so here on the USD CAD one hour chart, there is a good example of a successful Gartley pattern right in front of you on the screen. And I'll give you a second to see if you can spot that. I'm also going to post a couple of links on the screen to other advanced pattern videos that I've done in the past. So if you're interested in learning a little more about the cipher pattern or the bat pattern, or if you're just interested in checking out some of my other videos, then click on one of those links and it'll open up in a new tab and you can just check it out after watching this video. Did you find the Gartley pattern yet? It comes in from an X point starting right here. And if we bring on our pattern tool, X up to A here, A down to B, B to C, and a CD completion right down in here. We'll bring on our Fibonacci retracement just to make sure. From X to A, we want a 618 retracement. And we got that right here. Now then from A down to B, we also want a 618 retracement. And we got that right here. And we did not break above our most previous swing high, our A leg. We did not break above it. So we know this is still a valid pattern. Now we'll bring on our 127 extension from A down to B and back up to A. See if that aligns with a 786 retracement from X up to A. And it does. That's within four or five pips. And I suggest you create an actual number. My number is five pips. If my 127 is within five pips of my 786, then I take the trade from the 786. If I'm more than five pips away, I always take the trade at the 127 extension. So if you're going to trade it in this similar way, then make sure to have a set number so that it doesn't get confusing and you don't sometimes take it at the 786 and sometimes take it at the 127. You just want to have something that's 
you're able to test and do consistently in the market. So as you can see, we came down to our 786 here and with very little pain, not even testing our X leg, shot up to hit targets. And on this specific trade, you could have taken targets at 382, 618, and probably an extension of X to A of 127. You could have taken three different targets here and still made a lot of money. All right, guys. So now that I've shown you the ratios I use to trade the Gartley pattern and shown you a example with candlesticks on a chart, I would like to now show you a clip that I have of a live Gartley pattern that we traded for profit. So here's that clip. Here on the Eurozy 15 minute chart, we have a possible Gartley pattern set up with our X leg starting right up here. This long red impulse leg is going to be the start of our pattern. So what we do is take a Fibonacci retracement from our X down to A, which would be right down here. And we look for a 618 retracement that we have right here. And then we take another Fibonacci retracement from A up to B. And we look for a 618 retracement of that move and as you can see this market came down and did touch the 618 retracement right here and now we wait for a 127 extension or a 786 retracement and what I always do is if the 127 and the 786 have a little bit of confluence if they're pretty close to each other I trade from the 786, but in this case, the 127 is going to give me a much better risk to reward, so I always take the 127 if they are very far away like they are here. So now we will draw it in with our triangle tool. X to A, A to B, B to C, CD completion at our 127 right up there. And we can remove these fibs to make it a little more clear. And now that we know where our entry is going to be, we go ahead and measure out for our stops and targets. Take the little short position tool. And for targets on the Gartley, I use a 382 retracement from A up to D. So our stop loss will just put about 10 pips above X. And you can measure out the stop loss however you would like. You can use ATR, you can use 10 pip, you can use 20 pip, 15 pips. It's just whatever you're comfortable with when it comes to risk. And make sure you have tested it thoroughly to see if that way is the most profitable. So 5139s up to 5149s. Right up here. And essentially that's our trade. If this market comes up and does hit our entry, I will keep you updated on this trade. Here we are guys within a few pips being filled on our Euro Aussie trade on this Gartley pattern. And I'm just going to try to keep the video rolling and see if I can't capture us being filled on this trade. And there we go guys, we have now been filled on this Gartley pattern and I'll keep you updated as the trade plays out. Alright guys, so here on the Euro Aussie, we came down with this first big bearish candle that we were talking about earlier and consolidated a bit with a few candles here, just creating a little flag kind of pattern. And as you can see now, we're breaking through these little support levels that were down here. So hopefully, after breaking below these levels, we'll stay below them and close below them and get down here to our 382 retracement which will put some money in the bank and be our profit targets on this trade alright guys back here on the Euro Aussie and as you can see it took us a while to hit targets we were actually filled on this trade right here and as you can see here we pressed down from this candle wick where we were filled and got within about four or five pips of our target 
And then after that, we had a lot of bullish movement to the upside. Put in some candle wicks while we were retesting this structure level here. And after a few hours, we did eventually come down and hit targets. It's actually around 11.30 at night now. And when I was first recording this video, it was close to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So it did take this trade a while to hit targets. But nonetheless, we did hit targets. And that is a good example of a successful Gartley pattern. I hope you enjoyed it. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully by now you will be able to go out with the rules and ratios you learned today. Customize them if you'd like. The stops and the targets are also customizable. Back test them and decide whether or not you want to put this strategy in your trading plan. Don't forget to click that like button for me if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to get more free educational content like this. And also please don't forget to share this content with others on social media. Facebook, Google+, Plus. Get the word out, guys. Trading doesn't have to be as hard as people make it. All it takes is a little bit of effort, a little bit of time, and a lot of determination. I'll leave you with that. Thanks for viewing, and I will see you next time.